Hey, how's it going? Uh, I am really excited to be in Mark Roper's creative engineering course and we're just on day two and I just want to share some of the ideas that I've come up with as I've been uh, thinking about the build. This is a mechanical build and the idea that I came up with yesterday was the idea that um, I mean, the background is my daughter, when she eats dinner, sometimes things really go slowly. And so the idea, uh, the thing that really motivates her to eat more quickly is dessert. Now, I'm not, um, I don't want to rush her through the meal, nothing like that. But there's sometimes a little sense of urgency might help move things along because there's a lot of stuff that has to happen at night um, to get her into bed. And so if we can speed this along a little bit, um, I think everybody would be happy. And so I had the idea of what I'm calling the dessert timer. And this is a, a timer device that um, shows the dessert very prominently uh, for a certain amount of time. And when that time is up, the dessert disappears or is hidden or something. Um, and uh, she can no longer eat it. And so it just, uh, again, it sounds terrible. But the idea is that just there's a little bit of uh, something compelling her to eat and get to that dessert because it really when she knows that there's a dessert ahead she she eats uh, pretty pretty consistently and so I followed the research and uh, the research phase of day two to think about the different systems and so what I came up with really the the fundamental systems that I think I need to figure out are that we need some kind of mechanism some system for alternately hiding or uh, showing the dessert. Um, that's one system. The second thing is there needs to be a time delay mechanism or some delay so that uh, it doesn't instantly show the dessert and take it away right away. There needs to be some sort of delay between the two so that she has time to finish her dinner. Uh, and the third thing is the idea of trying to make it um, flexible enough to make it so that uh, you can put desserts of different types into this thing and it will uh, accommodate those different types. And so the first thing, thinking about mechanisms to show and hide the dessert, uh, I had a few ideas. The first, uh, the first thing that I had, which is actually my second bullet point here, is the idea of, um, think about this, this, this thing right here. I could not find an image of it, but it's one of those things in a deli or a diner where you put all the desserts in there and it's glass and it just keeps the flies from going on it. And I was thinking about something that slowly rotates to hide or show that, that thing. So it's, it's just sort of uh, uh, hiding the dessert as opposed to like taking it out of her reach. I wasn't super excited about that. And then I kept thinking about um, some different mechanisms and I thought about trap door and I found this one. Uh, and there's a, there's a link there, the idea of having sort of the, the dessert in sitting on top of a trap door while the thing is waiting. And then when the time ends, boom, the dessert just kind of fall to the floor into a container. And I thought even maybe it could follow into a, a container that's a little drawer that we could pull out. And so that makes it easy to like reach in and get whatever, uh, whatever the dessert is. And so there's some uh, cool ideas there. The other thing is a drawer mechanism. Like maybe the dessert is shown here and then some mechanism pulls a drawer in and hides it that way. So it's kind of a different one. And then related is this, uh, I thought of a cuckoo clock. And that, that mechanism um, just sort of, it, it's like the drawer, so it's showing it and pulls it in. And maybe some combination of these two things uh, could go together. I really like the trap door. I really like this mechanism right here. I think there's, there's uh, a lot of possibilities there. Second thing is the timer. And uh, there are a few things, again, the fact that this is supposed to be a mechanical build is limiting me because I... Uh, I would love to use a solenoid or a servo or something to pull it back, and I could do that, but again, I am trying to expand my skills a little. So um, I'm, I'm thinking about a screw that is attached to a motor, and it just rotates and unscrews from uh, a hole. And so as it unscrews, it pulls that, uh, that screw out, and that pin is what is holding the trap door or whatever mechanism in place. Once that rotates and pulls back, 
the whole thing um, actuates. Um, I was thinking, because my, my prototyping tools are kind of limited right now uh, because of the lockdown, I have a lot of Legos here. I don't know that I'm going to be able to order anything. So I do, I am thinking of, of a worm, worm gear that moves very slowly and could potentially take a Lego piece and just uh, that meshes with the worm gear um, and moves forward and backward um, that way. The other thing that, I'm, that I'm, I realized while I was thinking about this is the idea of maybe making a manual override where I can just take a string and sort of pull the pin and actuate this, this trap door to drop the dessert down because you know, five minutes is a, it's a loose concept um, for a, <laughs> for a five-year-old. Um, if it's five minutes or seven minutes or, or something like that, sometimes you just want the flexibility to be able to actuate it when we're ready to do it. So I wonder if it's possible to just make, make it a manual override to just bloop, pull it out and uh, drop the dessert in. And so the last, the last requirement up here was the idea of like a, ser like a serving bowl, like having it, if it's inside a bowl like this, um, that kind of sets the size for how big this thing needs to be. It's pretty light, this is small. Usually when we give her dessert, it fits into a bowl like this. So that um, kind of gives me the idea of what this might, um, you know, how big this thing might need to be, how heavy this trap door is going to have to, trap door, whatever mechanism is going to have to be to support um, the, the dessert, how big that pin is going to be. So some of the things I'm going to need to investigate is uh, I may need to build this, build like a trapdoor mechanism or some of these mechanisms to kind of explore what this looks like. I haven't gotten into the experimentation video yet. That's coming up next. Um, but I'm, I'm having a blast kind of thinking this through. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Mark, and thanks to the rest of the peer group. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some feedback from you whenever, whenever you can. Thanks for watching.